Coach, I know you just fresh off the field, and um, but what what can you say about these young men these last two weeks and how hard they prepared and fought for you? Great group of seniors that took control, led this team. Uh, I can't thank them enough for all they did through the tough times. Uh, really did everything they could to hold this team together, and I appreciate them. Coach, can you talk just a little bit about how much this team has grown in the last two weeks? We took on, a, I guess, an 11-day journey. And I thought they learned a lot in 11 days. I thought they learned a lot. I always tell them football teaches you so much about life and how to persevere through tough times, you know, how to handle opposition, it's the mental mindset that you face every day. And uh, we always start the day, every day we start with the word today. And it's all about today. All we have is today. So we focus on the day and try to maximize the day. And I thought they did that every day they came to work. I'm very, very proud of this group of guys. This group of guys really, really bought in to what I was selling. Started Monday, that Monday after a &M, with a video, and it continued all the way up until tonight. And a lot of them just expressed the things they learned. And that lesson they learned in these 11 days will carry them for life. Greg, you guys take the lead there, and then that targeting call sort of sort of changed the momentum at the point. Just just your thoughts on that, and, and guess how that maybe sort of flipped the game. Let's keep playing the game. Uh, it was going to be a stop. We get the ball back, momentum, energy, everything's in our direction, and that was a that was a big big change in the game. Probably the biggest play in the game. Jack. Coach, early on in that game, y'all converted a fourth and short. Nice little, you know, end around there to Xavion. Later in that game, it was kind of a similar down and distance, and y'all opted to uh, punt it. Can you just kind of walk us through that scenario late in that game there? I didn't want to put our defense in, in a situation. I thought we were still in a, in a position where offensively we could get down there and score, and I just did not want to give them field position like that. It was, it was almost in the same area. I, I just did not want to do that. I did not want to give them field. I thought... Again, I made the decision. We was going to punt the ball and try to pin them deep and try to gain an advantage at that point. Y'all obviously had some you know, struggles offensively and just kind of throughout the season, you know, there's been some inconsistency from that unit. What do you think was the biggest thing that you, know, you guys weren't able to do today to kind of get that offense going a bit? Well, they, they moved around a little bit on defense, you know, uh, just going back, if you go through the year, you know, again, the, the loss of Will, you know, and then Will coming back here. Uh, and then just, you know, he, he did some great things. We were fortunate to have him back for these last two games. But we, we just didn't manage things well. You know, we as an offensive staff got to do better. You know, I, I thought, again, the kids, uh, they worked hard. They practiced hard. They played hard tonight. They played extremely hard. You know, we just got to execute better. Coach, um, you guys made some big plays on special teams, but you guys also missed two key field goals. Kind of talk about what you said to your kicker and the team, you know, after those missed field goals. Well, it's just you, you got to put points on the board. You know, and uh, last week we hit four. We had four for four. You know, uh, again, this week we were not able to. So, uh, you need consistency. Consistency. We talk about stacking days. 
you know, and, and today was just not one of them. We didn't stack it. We didn't get it done. Greg, obviously at, at five and seven, um, if, if an opportunity for a bowl game comes based on, on you know, open slots, is that something that you feel you, you guys would want to do going forward? Uh, I'm not aware of that now. That was just, that would be something the administration would have to decide. Uh, that's, that's above me. Yeah. Coach Will Rogers uh, definitely showcased a lot of toughness uh, here tonight in this game uh, with you know, throwing you know, for his most passes and yards in a while, also that rushing touchdown. What, what did you see out of him in this game? Will is a determined young man, extremely determined. He, he's probably going to be a great coach one day because I listened to him speak to the team this morning. Uh, even last week after the last after Southern Miss game, he spoke to the team. Very passionate young man. Very pa I, I can see him one day being a great coach, being a great, great football coach. The kid is really passionate, and he's the, he just plays with such determination. You know, he, he's not going to let you down. He's going to give you everything he has, and he did tonight. You talked a lot about, you know, the, the players sharing kind of what they've learned through this experience. What do you feel like you as a coach have kind of learned through these last couple of weeks? It's been a tough two weeks, you know, but I thought just, again, the, the approach I had, I thought it worked because, again, it was all about the mindset of the kids. You know, and, I, and I, th I really thought they bought in to everything I was doing, everything I was trying to sell. And I, I really think they learned some valuable lessons. And I did too. You know, uh, the first time I was an interim head coach, we had a winning team. We was going to a bowl game. Uh, the second time, they had fired the coach. And this was very similar. And so the different mindset of kids, kids that were winning, going up, headed to a bowl game, as opposed to the kids who were down, losing, and needed a spark. So I learned how to manage the difference between the two. Coach, you mentioned the, you know, the character of the players, and uh, obviously there'll be some guys getting a portal, but uh, you know, your fans turned out tonight, too, an incredible atmosphere. There's a lot of talk about a new coach coming in. No matter who the new staff is, what are they inheriting uh, when it comes to Mississippi State football from a support standpoint and uh, a player standpoint? They are inheriting a group of fighters, right? guys that will fight to the end. That's Mississippi State football. You know, and, and we talked about that. Tonight was going to be Mississippi State football. The fans fans came out. They were there. They were supportive. We came out. We were physical. We were tough. We stopped the run. Uh, again, what was the score at half? Three zip or something like that? We, we were playing Mississippi State style football. Defense, defense, defense. You know, and it had to get the offense going. You know, so uh, we played hard football. That, that, that's what we do here at State. You know, that, and that's how we play the game. Hard, physical, aggressive, tough, fast. I thought our defense did all of that tonight. Close it out with Cam in the back. Coach, with all the, with all this team's been through, through the past year, them able to come out like this and really compete against a top 15 team in the country and the fight that they showed, just what's that kind of say about this group of guys? It says a lot. You know, and, and when you think about what they've been through in a year, one coach, another head coach, now me, you know, so basically three different head coaches standing in front of them. That, that's uh, when you think of 17, 18, 19, 20-year-old kids handling the emotional side of that, that's why when – I was given this call, this opportunity. It was attack the mental mindset. Got to get the mental mindset right. Understanding the emotional side that kids go through. So uh, you got a great group of fighters 
a great group of fighters in that locker room in there, and they don't quit. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.